Yeah. Okay, you guys, so it can get quite warm and stuffy inside when hosting people, right, for the holidays when everybody comes on over to your house. And that's why Renee Lucas from LCS Heating and Cooling is here to give us some tips on keeping our home comfy. Yes. Uh, true story, Renee. Uh, Uncle, I'm not, I keep kidding around about this Uncle Ronnie. <laughs> right, he, right. He's a real guy. He's a, he's a big dude. Yeah. He gives off a lot of heat. Yes. And whenever Uncle Ronnie and all the kin folks show up, the whole house heats up. And what happened two or three Thanksgivings ago, the air conditioner kicked in and, you know, oh, it was a nightmare. Not good, right. actually. Not good. We're going to talk about that today. Yeah. So, you know, I was saying, I was like, for my family, my mom would always, like, be grumpy by afternoon because it was hot in the house and she's sweating <laughs> and she's cooking and all this other stuff. And well, we were cooking, like, it, it produces so much heat in the it house It does. Anyway. It does. So, actually, one of the easiest tips is to use crock pots and instant pots when you can instead of the oven because okay. as soon as you turn that oven on, it heats up the home, right? And so a tip that we always have is a few hours before everybody's supposed to arrive, turn your thermostat down mm -hmm. by three or four degrees because the furnace is going to kind of shut off. It's going to bring it down. And then when the heat naturally rises again, it's going to go back up to the yeah. temperature that you wanted, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, a big thing, and this is where I was like, oh, that's such Don't a no-no. Don't turn the AC Ooh. on if you get hot. You know, turn ceiling fans on, open a window. Um, it's really hard on the air conditioner to run. It's hard on the compressor to run when it's below about 65 degrees outside. Oh, okay. So even when it's 50, 55, everyone's like, oh, I'll just turn my AC on. Don't do Don't it. Do that. Don't do it. Some thermostats also have an auto change function on them. So like at our house, for example, we have it set on 68. So if it gets warmer than 68, the AC turns on. If it mm -hmm. gets colder than 68, the furnace turns it's on, It's funny right? because that's my go-to temperature as well. 68. 68. I know. It's, I, I don't know what it is. Too. If yes. it's a d degree higher, I'm like, it's too hot. You especially can tell. at night. Yes, if you can tell. If it's colder, you need a blanket. Right, George? Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just concerned about messing up my compressor oh. when the thing automatically yeah. kicks yeah. off. So yeah, I would yeah, turn yeah. that function yeah. off. Like, just put it... But turn your system off or put it in heat only okay. so that way you can manipulate it because if you keep it in that auto changeover the air conditioner will come mm -hmm. on because it will get hot in the home an automatic. Right. and I'm telling you it's too cold outside for the air conditioner to be running it's really mm -hmm. hard on your compressor and you don't want problems down the road because of running the air conditioner when it's too cold outside you also mentioned investing in a whole home air cleaner to yes. clean the air throughout the entire home. Yeah. So the other concern about having all the people in the home, especially over the last couple years, are all the germs and everything yeah. else, right? So change your filter. I feel like we preach that all yeah. the time, right? Change your filter for clean air. But also something like this, it's a what whole home. This so this is the Remy Halo. It's actually the one that we have installed oh. in our home and okay. at our shop. It's mm -hmm. our favorite. Um, but there are a lot of good products out there. But the thing to, to know about these is they clean the air in your entire home mm -hmm. because it circulates through your ductwork and everything else, right? So um, something like this, investing in it, if you're, if you're somebody who likes to host a lot, not yeah. only at the holidays, but other times of year, it's a great investment for your home. Well, it's tough, too, because if you have a home that has uh, smaller spaces, you yeah. know, like we have a smaller living room and kitchen, mm -hmm. so that would be tricky, having so many people, you know, Absolutely. through there. So, you know, the other thing, just wipe down your countertops throughout the day. Wipe mm -hmm. down, like, you know, take a, a Clorox wipe or something and yeah. wipe down the bathrooms or doorknobs or something like that, because it just helps to control some of that when there's so many people and there's food out and you know you got turkey and chicken and everything yeah. else is out. Because, uh, stuffiness mm -hmm. is more than just temperature it's a it's, oh, totally. a, it's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so. people have so many people have allergy issues and then if you have pets in the home as well like that contributes mm -hmm. if you have dogs or cats and you get people with allergies and then they've you know, it's not a pretty sight when you have a family picture and everybody's <laughs> eyes are red rimmed and they're sweating. Watery. Yes, I always joke around. I was like, our family Thanksgiving picture where, you know, we used to always be in tank tops yeah. <laughs> because we were so yeah. hot in the home. Yeah. So I take comfort very personally yeah. to keep uh, my mom happy. So Well, which always goes with the attire, too. I'm like, plan ahead. Yeah. Think about what you're going to wear. Yes. Peel off the layers if you need Absolutely. to. Absolutely, yes. It's yes. those little things. All right, Renee, thank you so much. Where can we get in touch with you? LCSHeatingAndCooling.com is the there best you way you can reach us anytime. Easy enough. QR code, bottom left-hand corner of your screen. It's on our website.